Hi, I'm Zhong Yuan. Welcome to watching this video. This Python project is designed for calculating the actual compressive behavior of the FRP confined reinforced concrete column, which is widely used in structural retrofit. Thus, this software is designed for uh, students, structural engineers, and scholars who want to calculate uh, simply the behavior of the confined concrete. Here are some pictures of these components. We can see the FRP laminate is externally bonded on the claw and constrains the lateral expansion of the concrete. Thus, the concrete is subject to 3 axial compressive stress, which would largely increase the ultimate stress and strain of the concrete. The function of this uh, software is designed with respect to this book. It's called the a guide for the design and construction of externally bonded FRP systems for strengthening concrete structures. It's the design code for FRP system in America. From it, we can see uh, the unconfined concrete has a softening uh, stress behavior after the peak, uh, peak stress, while for the confined concrete, it will behave a stress hardening behavior. Uh, in the plastic zone. The stress and strain will continue to increase until the rupture of the FRP laminate. Okay, uh, let's look at the software. The interface has three parts. Uh, these two are the uh, input parts and these two are the output parts. And this one is the operating part. Firstly, let's look at the geometry part. Uh, first, uh, we can click the explain button to see uh, the menu book of the software, it can guide us how to operate it. Uh, in the geometry part, B represents the width of the cross section, and H is the height of the cross section, R is the corner radius of the cross section. We can input the value. If we hope to see this cross section in detail, we can cross, uh, click the cross section button, it will show us a cross section. If we change the corner radius to 0 0.2, okay, we can see a different uh, cross section. If we increase it to 0 0.25, okay, it will uh, become a circular section because the corner radius is half of the B and H. Uh, and S is the longitudinal reinforcement ratio of the cloth. T is the thickness of the FIP laminate. In general, the thickness of one piece of CFRP is 0 0.165. As this figure shows other detailed information of these components. Okay, in the material part, FCO is the compressive strength of the unconfined concrete, and FCO is the corresponding ultimate strength of the unconfined concrete. EC is the elastic modulo of the concrete. And generally, this value is 30 GPa. And EF is the elastic modulo of the FRP laminate. And for CFRP, this value is uh, usually 240 GPa. And SF is the uh, uh, ultimate strand of the FRP laminate. It's very large. Okay, in the outcome part, uh, FL is the confined stress of the co of the concrete provided by the FRP laminate, and KS is the geometry factor which reflects the unequal confined stress distributed on the cross section, and the manual book shows the detailed information of it. Uh, actually, uh, for a circular section, uh, the confined stress is equally distributed on the cross section, but for the rectangular square cross section. The confined stress is unequally distributed. These four parts, which are surrounded by the border and the parabolic line, is considered to have no confined stress. So they will have no stress increase. Only the central part, which is called effective confinement area, are considered to have the uh, confined stress, and will and their compressive stress will also increase. If we increase the corner radius. This area will become uh, larger. So, uh, with re with respect to this, we can formulate this expression of this K 
type as okay uh, FCC is the ultimate strength of the confined concrete and FCC is a, a corresponding ultimate strength of the concrete okay in the operating zone we can operate the software we can click the calculate button to see the results we can see the confined stress and this uh, uh, this case is equals to 1 because it's a circular section if we change it to uh, 0 0.1 okay and this will also change because it's not a circular section we can see our stress increase uh, of the uh, compared to the unconfined concrete and the, the stress also increase okay we can click the plot figure button to see this stress strength curve uh, we can do some ex uh, comparison we can change the thickness of the FRP to 0.3 we can see a much better curve if we continue to increase we can see a much higher ultimate uh, strength and, and stress if we increase the uh, stress of the unconfined concrete we can uh, see a different curve and if we increase the ultimate strength of the FRP we can see a, a much much higher stress and strength with the, of the unconfined concrete okay if we hope to uh, clear the figure we can click the clear figure button as uh, the data will be eliminated okay and if we hope to uh, clear all this data in the software we can click the clear all button all this data will be eliminated and it's very convenient for us to operate the software thank you so much for watching